Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Today we are back with another Dream Island tour and I'm really excited for this one because it's actually a winter island. I feel like we don't see a lot of winter islands, at least I don't tour a lot of them, but this one is just the most charming, aesthetic winter island that I think I've ever seen. The creator describes it as a farming town nestled in the forest. It's just so quaint and cozy and I cannot wait to share it with you guys, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, let's check out the island map. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get a lay of the land. So this is the island of Thimble. This is also such a cute island name. I'm always struggling when I restart an island to come up with like a cute and aesthetic name. And Thimble is just so cute. So just want to point that out. But taking a look at the map here, it looks very very organized and i'm loving the waterscaping in the back of the island i know that this creator who is crossing with Liz is just so good at creating really like structured islands that also feel sort of natural and they're always just laid out so perfectly so i feel like we could get a lot of inspiration from her map she also creates her own maps when she releases a dream address which i'll pop up on the screen and you could just tell how organized this island is how beautiful it's going to flow and she's just all around so creative so definitely go give her a follow i am always the first to like jump on touring her islands when she releases one because like i said they are all so so good but okay so back to who is on this actual island now we have actually three resident reps and then we have lots of cute villagers they actually all feel like they belong on a winter island in some way like we have the deer here which is obviously eric and just lots of cuties all throughout the island i feel like they all like i said just really belong on this like foresty winter island Dream address is on the screen as well as in the description, so let's just get right into it. Okay. Wow, I am already just blown away by the overall vibe on this island. It's just like that really light snow. It's really just setting like the mood and the ambiance of this island. It's really beautiful. And look at this entrance. I love this. I feel like this is very different from any entrances that I've seen before. And I love that because I tour a ton of islands, but I've never really seen this layout here with that bridge like right in the front. And then we have the incline over to the right also. This is just such a pretty setup. And like I said, her layouts are always so inspiring to me. Whenever I'm stuck on something I'm building, I always check out Liz's either Instagram or Twitter posts because they're there's always just some good inspiration to get from her and she also creates a lot of her own custom codes which i will share once we get over by resident services but so much to take in here i know i'm talking a lot because i just love 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 everything already and we've barely even made it like two steps on this island so much to take in just with the way that she's laying out these items i'm getting a really nice sense of this like brown beige color palette we have a really cute little sign at the front and just such a great mixture of different codes if you're working on a snowy island i'm going to try to collect as many of these codes as i can because i know it's really hard to find winter or snowy codes to use and these are some really really good ones i know that the dirt path i believe was made by Liz, so you could definitely get that um, from either visiting the dream address or in the description so i'm gonna follow along the left side here i saw this little like kind of uh, signpost here leading us over this bridge and i just love the way that this is just leading me so effortlessly around the island there's one of the resident reps over here i also changed my outfit i know this is a little different from what i usually wear but i grabbed some of the stuff that the creator left on the island and i feel like i look really cute in my snowy outfit Let's see, we have Shep over here. Oh my God, I haven't seen Shep in so long. I have to say hello. This has been such a weird day. It's only getting weirder. <laughs> I mean, who are you? Oh, I miss Shep so much. I haven't had him on an island in forever. And look at how cute he looks in his little snow hat. Absolutely love that. 
Back to the tour though, this is the cutest little park area. We have some of these snow angels on the floor, lots of little seating areas or like picnic tables throughout here. And I'm just loving the ideas for winter islands throughout, like using the sled and then also the firewood is always great for these winter islands because it's a really nice item to begin with. And I feel like we forget about it a lot, but it works really well for either like chopping down like Christmas trees or just even like the idea of a little camp fire so it works really nicely even using that like storage shed as an actual like shed decoration looks just so so spot on so i'm gonna follow along this way i love that she's using the cutout standee doors throughout here with that uh, vertical fencing because it really just kind of uh i don't know it encloses the space really really nicely and then over here we have these dirt tracks over by this farm the creator did say that this was like a farmy uh winter town so i think we're gonna see a lot of farms throughout here i will head over to that farm but i just want to check out some of the waterscaping up here that i had missed before and some of the little details but every little area is just so perfectly curated every little code is just so perfectly placed i'm just always in awe like i said of Liz and her creations so let's see how to get in this little farm area. I want to follow along this way and look at this. We have this little like stable over here. I don't know if it's a stable or what else this is, but it works so well with the whole farm vibe. Maybe it's more of a barn, but absolutely adore this. And I also want to note that Liz leaves a lot of like kind of open space, which I have been so into lately. I know that this is obviously super decorated, but I, I like that not every tile is covered in a code. It really makes the island feel very intentional and just kind of calming. It gives it a very calming feel all throughout. So we have, like I said, this barn over here and then leading up this way, we have this little kind of farm over here. I think that, um, I'm not sure exactly what farm this would be or like what we're growing over here, but I like the idea of using bushes instead of like I don't know crops or flowers I, I don't see that a lot and it adds just a nice bit of fullness to a farm and I really like this also the snow on the bushes just looks so good so I'm kind of you know biased to that coming up this way oh my gosh is this like dog sledding <laughs> This is so so cute i love the little formation of the dogs in the front and then some of the wood behind that is so creative i you know what this is already blowing me away i knew it would but i just love these little simple spaces that creators come up with it's just so charming to me to see how everyone decorates their islands differently and just the creative ideas that the community comes up with so i'm going to come around this way and now kind of check out i know we went down here before so if we come up this way what is over here oh my gosh look at this beauty i feel like this is just like a big acre of land on a farm and it's just so perfect it feels very real we have another barn back there and she did a beautiful job of setting that up so we're gonna go take a look at that but look at these ducks how cute do they look on the little wooden crates i'm such a big fan of this and all the weeds just like kind of scattered throughout it's such a great kind of execution of this area this barn is really beautiful look at the ducks on the top oh my god I I almost screamed. I love those decoy ducks so much. I think they might honestly, even after the 2.0 update, still be my favorite item in the game. And I've never seen anyone put them on a little like roof like that. That's so cute. And this red like barn code being used up here is really nice. So before I get over too far to the right, I'm gonna continue to the left and just follow this pathway along here. Look at this stunning diagonal code. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this one. It's like a kind of worn away pavement and I love that it has the diagonals here because there is nothing better to me than some diagonal pathing. This is so beautiful. Again, like I said, it's not overly like cluttered. 
and don't get me wrong i do love clutter but i just have really been into these like simple islands lately and i want to be able to do that on my own islands but i still am so used to just like cluttering up every space so i'm trying to get as much inspiration as i can with islands like this so that i can eventually get to a point where i can decorate with a minimal amount of items and still have it come out as amazing as this one here so we do have two log cabins again very fitting for this like wintry island it just makes a lot of sense and then really cute little just like setups throughout like putting this little rattan table and the teacup in front is so good also is that the root is that supposed to be the roost cup i need to zoom in okay so i need to know in the comments if any of you guys got this actual roost cup from nintendo i know that they made merch out of this and i cannot get it it's been sold out like forever and i'm not gonna pay more for it but it's so cute so very curious to know if any of you guys got that because i i do really want it <laughs> But anyway, back to the island. Over here, we have a little sledding area in the back and just really cute ideas like putting the little boots on a like log um, bench over here. It makes a lot of sense and it's just very, very like aesthetic and and perfect and then this actually these like little tracks from the sled leads you over to the secret beach which is totally hidden and i think that's just the best way to handle a secret beach in my opinion and also these little paw prints in the sand such a good code over here i love that we have the log stakes as fencing around this like water scaping over here i think that the log stakes just have the perfect like little natural feel to fencing obviously they are the most natural type of fencing that you could use but it just has this little kind of like quirky charm to it and it works really well in a foresty space like this before i go over that bridge i just want to make sure i didn't miss anything over to this side because we went to the back way of this path but this is if we followed the pathway over to the right diagonal over here and there are just a couple little details that i don't want to miss like over here we have just again some of these snow angels the little hay bales they just are very kind of cute i feel like these people just are all like kind of living on the farm and they just probably live a very nice simple kind of happy cute life that's how i am imagining the villagers of this island so coming up over this way over the bridge we have a couple different ways we can go i think i'm gonna go up this way over the incline and see what's going on on this higher level or top level over here so look at this oh my goodness i love that you can get around all of this cliff space over here i know that she didn't have to make all this accessible but it's kind of fun to just like run around and and see all of the details towards the back of the island and over here we have one of the villager houses and again it's a little log cabin which is just so so fitting for an island again like i said a winter island like this and this little snowy path i don't think i've ever seen it but it's very like natural feeling and i think every time i've worked on a winter island it's really hard to find good snowy paths so i'm definitely going to try to find this one in the description for everyone because it's definitely a really good option for those of you doing winter islands or just um curious about winter island codes so let's see we have this little nice transition bridge over here which leads us over to this incline if we come up here let's see i feel like i'm going the wrong way because the arrows seem like i should be coming from the other side but i'm already back here and i'm curious so we're just going to continue along this way oh look this is like a little lookout area in the back of the island I love when creators do this, when they kind of utilize the space in the back to have these little lookout spots because we have this gorgeous ocean in the back of all of our islands. And I think it's really nice to have a little space to do a lookout area over here. And this is actually where the campsite is. So I'm assuming that I should have came up from over this way. And we will, as we go around the island, kind of look at what it would look like to come up this way. But since I'm over here, just 
looking at the campsite now i love that it's on its own little cliff over here it feels very like secluded and it's just really nice terraforming all throughout we have like two inclines over here to the left which is really just such a fun little kind of I don't know, a little nice natural layout inspiration for us. So I'm not gonna go down that way because I've already definitely missed too much over to the left. I got distracted and excited about <laughs> following this little kind of bridge over here, but I'm gonna continue a little bit further over this way and let's see what else we may have missed. I'm gonna come back down this incline and just follow our way around here instead so this side of the path so over here we have a little barn area and look at the way that this terraforming is done with this bridge up here it leads to this barn so nicely like all of these transition areas just feel so well executed and again i've i've said it a lot but i just really love the flow on all of lissa's islands it's so so inspiring and I definitely need to take some inspiration from her. <laughs> I think we're gonna get to that house once I come back up around this way. So I'm gonna just continue up further to the front of this island and then we'll come back around. So I see that we have these little like train tracks over here. I'd kind of seen it before when we were over here by this side of the farm, but we have this little train track path coming through this way. And this would lead us back here to where we were. But if we come over to the right, we have a few other kind of villager houses over here. And look at how cute this is. We have two villager houses. I love a nice symmetrical layout like this, and it's just so satisfying to see the bridge in between the middle of these. And I just really like the way that she did this like deck code sort of in between this um, railway code. It looks really, really nice. I think even before I go back there any further, I wanna make sure that we've seen everything to the front and I know that there are a couple more houses up here. So I'm just gonna reorient ourselves and see kind of where this part leads to. So over here is resident services. So we are to the left of the island right now. While I'm here, I just want to note that she does have a lot of custom codes on this island. She has even more custom codes from other uh, MA accounts that she has, but I will pop those up on the screen. Um, some of her snowy codes are on this island, so if you want to grab any of those, um, you can just see them now with some visuals. But we're going to continue over this way and kind of check out just the full left side of the island now before I go back any further. So I'm going to come up this incline first and then we'll make our way around a little bit uh, more towards the back. I know I'm kind of going around this island, probably not in the exact intended way that Liz, int or that Liz pretty much intended. But I, I think the nice thing about Liz's islands is that they're so well connected that you can really like come around or or like explore her island in any type of way it doesn't have to be in a specific uh pattern okay so we have this gorgeous little bridge over here i wonder if this is the bridge that we saw in the front of the island by the entrance because that bridge was up one level but it's a really nice little view over to resident services and then as we come over this way we have some villager houses so this looks like oh there's a little cute like ice skating sign and just look at the aesthetic over here there's something I love so much about this like vintage ranch furniture and then just all of the customizations. I think that's like the birch customization of the log, like wild log bench. It's just so like light and airy and just overall like the aesthetic is so good on this island. I have never been inspired to do a winter island before, but I will say that if I was ever to do a winter island, this would 100% be what I would want my island to look like. So Liz, you just did an amazing job. And then we can get another view from the front here of what this bridge looks like. So, so pretty. There's something just so gorgeous about using a bridge as a centerpiece or as a design element, and that's exactly what that bridge is doing in this situation here. I'm gonna go over this way and just see, I, I don't think I'm supposed to come over here, but 
just curious if there was any like hidden pathway that I may have missed, which I don't think so. So coming around this way, I believe that this is if, okay, I'm getting it now. So this is back over by the entrance. So just to show you guys, if we were to go to the right, we would have ended up over here in the beginning of the island instead of what we did, which is what we went to the left. So I'm gonna come back around over here and just make our way up um, back to more of the left side of the island. Um, this would then be that bridge that was in the front of the island, I believe, by the entrance. And look at this absolutely gorgeous view over here. We're seeing both of those resident rep houses and then the little ducks are so perfect. It looks like they're kind of on like icy water, which is of course very fitting. We even have chevre. So this is just really the perfect view that I think I've ever seen. And this like light snow and the sky is just so beautiful. Coming over this way, we have one more villager house kind of hidden back here up in the cliffs. And it's just the perfect little woodsy house, of course, on this island. So I'm going to come back down around this way. I do want to check out where those villager houses are and some of those resident rep houses. So again, we are over to the left of resident services now. And right here, we have this like fork in the road. Um, and there is, I don't actually, I don't know if this is technically a fork in the road, but you guys know what I mean. Stunning, stunning layout. Once again, looks like over to the left, maybe there's some sort of music hall and over to the right looks to be maybe like a bakery or a cafe. I am going to check out the houses, see if there's anything in there, but I just want to come up this way first and look at all of the little detail over here, um, with this little kind of like park like courtyard area that's where we were seeing those ducks before so i'm thinking that this is a bakery i'm gonna see if there's anything inside of this house okay so inside of here it definitely is like the super cozy bakery or i don't know maybe like a little cafe it almost feels like you entered into like grandma's like kitchen or like a bed and breakfast it of course is just so fitting with like the snowy walls and just all of the like blue ranch furniture it works really beautifully on a like wintry snowy island like this I just love the whole ambiance in here. I would definitely love to kind of be in here on like a cold, chilly night. It's just, once again, totally like nails the overall aesthetic and I can definitely see the vision of what she was going for here. So we're gonna check out the house over to the left now. I'm assuming that this is some sort of like music hall okay yeah so coming in here it looks like maybe this is a concert hall i love this because it really just kind of like helps you imagine life on an island like this when you have some of these like more realistic spaces and like whether or not you create stores out of your houses or like actual event spaces like this it definitely just i don't know i think it just really helps get a realistic idea of what life on your island might be like and i'm really just loving this idea of having a little concert hall or a place for people to go out it's just very very cute and obviously an amazing execution once again okay so i'm gonna follow around this way and just uh, see what's going on and kind of understand the way that everything is connected now So we did see some of these train tracks before where those like lead to and We're going to come back this way. We have a couple more uh, Villager houses over here and we had kind of looked at them before but I do like that they're matching they have this like red coloring to them and it just it is really like cohesive with the rest of the island we're seeing a lot of red in some of those barn areas so i feel like the color palette of this island is really nice and cohesive without feeling too like repetitive or boring which is definitely a really like hard thing to pull off coming back here we have another one of these log cabins and then lots of cute little details all over on the floor all around here like just the code she's using i know i mentioned it but she really just did a great job of curating codes all throughout here i'm just curious if i had missed anything over on that top level i don't know if we had seen the villager houses up there so we might just have to come back around but look at this terraforming there's nothing better than a double bridge like this. Oh yes, we definitely did go up on that 
uh, top layer before because I remember seeing that bridge with the two signposts on each side but she's just so good I've said it a million times but these layouts are really so inspiring for any time you are stuck with a build or just want some inspiration having like two houses on each side with those double bridges in the middle is such a great idea and the way that she did this pathing over here, I don't see people do this a lot, but it's such a cool way to take advantage of the in-game pathing that we have. And it really matches nicely with like the stone inclines that she's using over here. So I really love the way that this looks. And this is um, just the kind of, I said I would come up here again, the front way to get over to the campsite. So I believe that we had seen everything on this top layer over here, but I am just going to come down here and make sure that I didn't miss anything since I was kind of running through it a little bit um, earlier. But I believe that we had seen most of this and we had already run through here. So I'm just kind of <laughs> running through it one more time but we'll get back on track and make sure we see everything that we haven't seen yet. So coming back down here, we saw the campsite. Now we're gonna come up this incline over here and we've made it to another one of the resident rep houses. I really love the way that this red coloring is coming through again. It's so stunning and I love the way that she hid the river mouth over to the right. You could see that she did some terraforming over there but still like didn't hide it completely. You could see that nice like waterfall over there which is really beautiful. And then once again, we have one of these like transition bridges and everywhere that you go, there's just tons of like really stunning views where you can see so much of that beautiful terraforming that she's done throughout the island. And this nice like little worn away brick code works really beautifully as well. And then coming up here, I believe that this is right behind resident services. So there is this little pathway over here. And I really like also, I've seen her using these like mailboxes a lot as decoration. And it's such a good idea, especially like right when you get to uh, an island to have these like mailboxes in the front and like the tiny library it kind of feels like you could pick up a little newspaper or something. And I'm really absolutely loving the placement of the incline and the bridge. That's such a pretty view there. And I really want to copy that completely. I love that, like just the exact placement of how she has that incline and bridge. It's really satisfying. And then over here we have Able Sisters and um, another villager house over here, which looks to be like a little bakery or a cafe. So this looks to be maybe more of a shopping district. Tons of just cute decor all throughout here. And then coming up this way, we have an ice skating rink. Of course we do. I feel like you cannot have a winter island without an ice skating rink. And look at how aesthetic <laughs> this ice skating rink is. We have the brick code all throughout here, little place to have some like soup or coffee and little like ice skating um, skates. <laughs> I was going to call them boots and then I was like, no, <laughs> they're literally skates. <laughs> so, so charming and adorable. Did we see Nooks? Did I totally miss Nooks Cranny somewhere? I feel like I don't remember seeing Nooks at all like now that I think about it. Um, let me check the map and see if I had maybe just like totally missed it. Oh no, Nooks is over on the beach and I don't believe that the beaches were decorated. So we did not miss it. Okay, so I think that we actually have seen everything on this stunning island. I will have to say that this is definitely my favorite winter island that I have ever seen. I will definitely reference this island if I'm ever doing a winter island. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I know that I've heard a few of you guys asking for winter island inspiration. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.